Mary had a second class profile and protruding upper incisors. I always am somehow skeptic on how to proceed in these cases with a great overjet. We'd like to retract those incisors because they are at risk of trauma, but we'd also like to protrude the mandible with a functional appliance. But what kind of appliance? Mary was about to become a woman. Her mother said she hadn't fully developed yet, but she was growing very fast and they had to buy a lot of new clothes for her, because the old ones weren't fitting any longer, especially shoes. And this is the ideal timing to stimulate mandibular growth. I went for a twin block appliance, to be applied whenever she's home, so that she can go to school and practice sport freely. This way we don't disrupt our patient's lifestyle and we still have 14, 16 hours of wear time. As you can see, the upper resin blocks were touching the lower molars. This prevents those molars from erupting. And that is a reasonable idea if you have an hyperdivergent patient. But Mary was a bit hypodivergent, so I needed those lower molars to erupt a bit to open the goniac angle. Here is what I did. Took a burst, removed some of the resin from the upper plate and left some space between the resin and the lower molars. Now they're free to erupt and they will help me open the gonia angle. After 11 months of twin block, the profile has changed a lot for the better. So that even Mary's mom has noticed it. The distance between the chin and the A-line tells us how much the mandible has been activated. But there is another important effect of the twin block appliance, and you can see it by looking at the distance between the upper lip and the A-line. Looks like the upper lip has lost a lot of support from the incisors. In fact, and this is just a couple months after bonding, Look at how much torque loss there has been on those teeth. I was so surprised when I saw it. In fact, while advancing the mandible, the twin block appliance tends to retract upper incisors and to protrude the lower ones. Normally, these are considered side effects, but in this case, damn it was useful. Take a look at the overcorrection we got. That is a class three. Now, after one year of fixed appliance treatment, this is Mary's new smile. And beside the smile, we got a new profile. Today's orthodontics goals are shifting more and more toward the need for a new face for our patients, and not just for a new smile. Our job is also like a bit plastic surgery or even aesthetic medicine. We just don't cut anything open. In fact, I don't think Mary will be grateful for the occlusion we gave her. I don't even think she knows what her occlusion is right now. Neither I think she would have minded having a slight class 2 occlusion. Are we even sure Dr. Angle checked for, I don't know, founding biases in his famous double-blinded randomized control trial? 